Hi, I'm John Barber, Editor-in-Chief at IDW Publishing, and welcome to The Barber Shop. So our plan was we were going to do these little videos where I talk about some upcoming releases or some cool news from IDW, but the world went a little haywire in the meantime. So while we're all uh, social distancing, while we're all stuck at home, uh, we thought it'd be fun still to reach out and maybe talk to everybody just about some fun comic stuff that we like to hopefully take our minds off of all of our troubles for a little while. So this week I want to talk about a pretty recent release. Uh, maybe it's something you pick up from your local bookstore or comic book store if they do online delivery or um, curbside pickup or anything like that. Um, but uh, it's a comic, it's kind of near to my heart. Uh, it's called Transformers vs. Terminator. Uh, so I've, I've written a lot of Transformers comics, as some of you might know. Uh, I've also been a Terminator fan since I saw that first movie at probably too young of an age. And uh, uh, I've actually read the Dark Horse uh, Terminator series from issue one. Um, that's really true. Uh, so it's been an honor to get a chance to work on both of these characters together. Um, and uh, what happened was we were talking to our friends at Dark Horse and, uh, you know, for a long time, just idly, we'd all talked about it would be cool to do a Transformers uh, Terminator story. Uh, but uh, the, our, our friends over at Dark Horse suggested, well, why don't we do it for real? And I got really excited. Um, Trans, uh, Transformers editor David Marriott got pretty excited about it as well. Uh, and he came up with a really cool hook for it that I really liked. And then he and I started batting some ideas around. Uh, and then our editor, Tom Waltz, came in. And he, uh, you might know him from writing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And he, uh, he, he kind of came in with some new ideas as well. And um, it's kind of all built into something that I think is pretty fun and pretty cool. And to me, it gets to the heart of what makes a crossover like this work, which is taking a key element of like the, both the Transformers and the Terminator and, and putting a spin on it that you wouldn't ordinarily see. So there's a little bit of a spoiler here, but this is, the, this is what really hooked me on it uh, when David, uh, David told me this idea he had. Uh, classic tran Terminator story is uh, uh, all Earth, all human life has been wiped out. Uh, humanity sends, uh, in a desperate attempt, sends, a, sends one soldier back in time to try to stop Skynet and the Terminators from destroying the world. And he goes back in time to 1984. Now, some of you might know, 1984 is also when the Transformers debuted. So uh, I think that maybe uh, led, to the, uh, led to a little bit of uh, uh, some synapses firing for David. And he had this, uh, this idea, well, what if, uh, what if the, the, the last Earth life that goes back in time uh, isn't human. What if the last survivor of Earth is Skynet and it sends a lone Terminator back in time to try to prevent the Transformers from destroying the world? Uh, and I thought that was great. I thought it was a really fun idea. And uh, really since then we've just been spitballing and building and trying to you know, uh, build some bigger, cooler action stuff, but also doing the thing that we I think has been paramount to our Transformers comics from day one, which is focus on the characters and on what it's like to to live in these 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 worlds and with these with these people, be they mechanical people or people people. Um, so we uh, we we uh, talked to Alex Milne, who joined us for art, and I love working with Alex. I got to work with him on Unicron, and uh, we did Transformers ROM uh, a couple of years ago. Uh, he's one of my favorite people to work with. Uh, he's really bl just blowing me away with every new page that he comes up with. Uh, and then uh, uh, David Garcia Cruz is on colors. I uh, love David, worked with him for years, and uh, just the two of them together is making an awesome team. Uh, so I'm really, uh, really excited. Uh, Jake Thomas lettering it, uh, some, some, just a great creative team and uh, a comic that I'm really excited about. Issue one is on sale now. Issues uh, two through, uh, through the rest of the series will be out soon, I promise. So uh, yeah, on that note, uh, you know, it, Take, take this time while you're while we're stuck alone and read some comics reach out to other comics fans though reach out to other people um, you know make contact and, and and talk about the things we love and the things that make us happy um, we'll be doing these videos every week um, and uh, hopefully I'll get a little better at it uh, in the meantime if you have any questions uh, or, or comments about IDW uh, comics and books past present or future uh, reach out in the comments below. We definitely want to stay in touch and I uh, hope everybody's doing well. Uh, I'll see you next week and stay safe.